Hello and welcome back to another Shadowlands Gold Farming video. Now this is episode 2 of my series where I test out different gold farms in Shadowlands and I compare them to each other to try to find the good farms and the bad farms. So today we are testing out fishing and for this test I did some research on the auction house to find the most expensive fish. I then went to the fishing trainer or fishing vendor in Oribois. I bought the bait for that most expensive fish so I am getting the most amounts of gold that I can get while fishing. So for me that would be the silver gill pike, on uh, which you get from Bastion. So I'm fishing in Bastion. And even though I did all of these things, I went to look for the most expensive fish. So I'm fishing for the most expensive one. I am still making a very, very low amount of gold per hour. I am doing a half an hour test here because there's not really any RNG with fishing. The only thing you're looking for is the fish itself, and you can just look at my loot log. I'm getting a lot of the actual fish, and still the gold per hour is bad, so from this we can actually get the results that fishing is not worth doing right now. In Shadowlands, in my opinion at least, like you can make 10k gold per hour by fishing, but 10k gold per hour isn't really that much. That being said, fishing can be very chill and very relaxed, you just sit in one place. And you can kind of halfway automate fishing by having an oversized bobber and turning your volume up to max. You can make some passive gold while watching a movie, watching a series, or watching YouTube videos like this one. So you can make some passive gold while doing that. But personally, I would much rather do something like skinning and yeah. Pretty much uh, fishing is not worth doing and I thought I would mention that. I was considering not making the video. But at the same time, I am testing out different farms, comparing them to each other. And instead of leaving you guys in the question mark of how good skinning or fishing is, I mean, I kind of just wanted to let you know that fishing isn't worth doing. So throughout this testing time, we will find some bad fish or buy bad apples for the farms. And this is a bad apple or a bad fish. It's basically a bad farm. So we will find some good farms, some bad farms. And some just okay farms, I suppose. So now we have done Shadowlands skinning, we have done fishing. Skinning was 56k the gold per hour, and fishing is like 10k, so fishing is on the very low end of the gold per hour from these farms. Skinning is on the high end, we will also test out herbalism and mining. I want to test that out in two different zones, so for example the Maw, and I will pick the zone with the most valuable herbs and mining veins, so probably Revendreth, but I'll have to do some research and find out. And yeah, just let me know in the comments down below which farm you want, me, you want me to test out next. Do you want me to do some old farms as well to compare new farms to old farms and see the gold per hours from those? I was planning on maybe doing the Shadowlands farms first, so we have done skidding, we have done fishing, we will be doing herbalism and mining, and then maybe 2x4 as well for a video, even though I have covered 2x4 farming. And then we can compare Shadowlands content to old world content. And then we can see how much gold per hour we get from everything. And then we have to consider that Shadowlands materials sell way faster than old world materials. So we have to find a old world farm that gives you more gold per hour than skinning or 2x4 farming and stuff like that. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this series. I definitely wanted to cover fishing. I kind of like fishing. It's kind of bad that it's become this bad. It's mostly because of, well, no one really needs the fish, and the, the tiny amount of fish that people need, you actually get for free, like passively, from the renowned loot banks. The renowned 10 loot banks, like if you're a Night Fae, in the Night Fae Covenant, you have the Naya Soulbind, and if you have the Naya Soulbind, you get like a loot bag every now and then when you're killing enemies, and that loot bank can contain meat and fish. I think that loot bag in itself has dropped the price of fish by a lot. So the low amount of fish people actually need, there is a constant supply of through those renowned 10 loot bags. And yeah, that's basically for the fishing guys. I just wanted to cover it real quick. Tell you guys it's not worth it. I think actually me showing a bad farm is just as valuable as me showing a good farm. Because then you know that you shouldn't do this and you should prioritize something else. And you can see after 30 minutes we ended up with 4.8k gold per hour, actually 4.9k, so about 10k gold per hour, not worth doing in my book. But yeah, you make the decision for yourself, if you want to do fishing, go and do fishing. 
just make sure you buy the bait for the most expensive fish on your server. And yeah, that's it guys, leave a like down below, leave a comment as well, subscribe if you haven't, and consider supporting me on Patreon for Patreon exclusive content, and just to give me some extra support as a content creator as well. I am working on a gold making guide that you will get access to as a patron, so that one is already out. It's only 40 pages, so far I'm going to make it even bigger as well, going to keep expanding on it, and by being a patron you get access already now. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, leave a like down below, leave a comment as well, and I'll see you again very soon.